Pro 2200 panel loop represents a configuration of more than one Pro 2200 intelligent controller. This loop will support up to eight ICs on a single computer COM port. Be aware when using a panel loop that the traffic on the communication loop increases with each IC and I.O. board added to the loop. To add a P-series loop, you can use the Quick Start Wizard or manually add it by using the device map. To open the device map, select Configuration, Device, Device Map. The P-series panel loop is controlled by an RS-232 to RS-485 converter, the Pro 22 CVT-1. The converter gets its power from an external power supply and has a cable that plugs into one of the computer COM ports. It also has connections for the RS-485 wiring that is the communications path for the ICs that it communicates with. Since the Pro 22 CVT-1 plugs directly into the COM server, we will add it to the device map by right-clicking directly on the COM server. Select Add and select Panel Loop P-Series. Enter a name, a description, and then click Next. On the Port Settings screen, select which of the COM ports on the computer that this will be attached to. The settings for baud rate are 38.4, 19.2, or 9600. The IC reply timeout should not be changed unless you're told to. This is the amount of time that the host PC will wait for a packet acknowledgement before it sends another packet. The RTS mode settings are always on and toggle. A Pro 2200 CVT-1 cannot use the toggle setting, so leave it set to always on. When you're finished with this page, click Next. Click Finish. And now the new panel loop will be displayed in the device map. Any of the ICs that will be communicating to this P-Series loop will be added by right-clicking on the P-Series loop itself. Select Add a new P-Series panel. And the basic configuration screen for an IC board opens. In conclusion, you have seen how to add a P-Series loop for communicating to the Pro 2200 IC boards, and we have explained the options. You should now be able to add your own P-Series panel loop.